morning. Don't y'all forget, you gotta subscribe, like, or share this channel. Yep, one papoose. Yep, and I got a problem. There is a problem out here um, going viral right now. It is. Oh, I see all of the uh, 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 commentary on Jade and Will and August. I'll see them. He, he, he's all right. He ain't nothing to jump all overboard for, but he's all right. I like his music, so I ain't gonna hate on that. It's all good. But um, let me say good morning to everybody again. Up early, got to go get it. That's what I do. That's what I do. Got a birthday coming up. Don't y'all forget that. Got a birthday coming up. Gonna invite y'all in to see, you know, just a little bit of the. Um, Decorations that I am hooking up for my luau party. So uh, don't forget to send your girl some happy birthday love. Coming up here on the 28th, Leo's Rock. That's for sure, Leo's Rock. Um, let me see <clears throat> where I want to start with this one here, cause it's just, it's just gonna be short, and I'm just surprised about how many people that has really fallen for the um, I'm sorry red table talk BS. It's BS y'all. But you know, Jada sits there and tell everybody that um, you know, she reached out to help right now, you know, doing their um, little hanky panky three and a half four years ago. Go back and listen to it. That's what she said. Go ahead and pull up Og. That's what she's calling them, y'all. It's, it's Og. See, when you done got the, the nitty-gritty and doing a hanky-panky, the, the name changes. He's Og to her. Yep, he is. Well, I'm going to take my glasses off for a minute. It's a very, very beautiful day out today. But he is Og. To her, you guys. Arga Alcina is pushing roughly what 26, 27. Jada is pushing what roughly 50. Yish. Yeah. I, I'm just disturbed by the fact that nobody seems to have a problem with it. I think what we need to do with Jada is have Jada take Arg and herself take Mr. Kelly. And as real, put all four of them around the table, the red table that is. You know where it all comes out. You know, you remember where that Lisa Van Allen showed up to do her boohoo crying. And you know where Jada sat there and talked about, you know, the doc series, how it made her feel and she really felt their truth um, in there. They showed the evidence. That's what she said to the public on her red table talk. Now, I ain't going to jump too much on Will Smith because there's some other things really suspicious going on with Will Smith. Kind of hard to talk about somebody who is rocking close to $500 million. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody with $500 million, let's just say myself, no matter what anybody say about me, with $500 million, to be perfectly frank with you, I wouldn't give a fuck. So ain't no need to talk about Will Smith, right? He, however, if he, he has the five hundred million. You have, one must say that uh, Jaded Pick Smith is rocking five hundred million as well because they are a partner. So you know what? Shout out to them with all of that money. So shout out to them. Successful careers, however. We can't sit here and ignore the fact that all of that bone crushing that she did about Mr. R. Kelly and believing the fact that the girls from the docuseries uh, put nothing but facts out there. She felt her pain. She felt that, um, you know, uh, all the evidence has had been presented. What, what, what I'm finding with her, though, is why haven't she brought anybody out that is um, for Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. Wouldn't that make her unbiased? Because right now she's very biased, you guys. She sits there yeah, with a um, justification of why 
she did what she did. A lot of people out there seem to make it um, believable that, yeah, it was okay. Morally, it wasn't. But because her justification brought her a little bit of um, truth to what she was saying. She brought the truth out about how she and Og, you know, got intertwined. Intertwined, had relations. At that time, does people not know that she um, was with a young guy? That doesn't seem to bother people. Seem to be okay. I get it. Maybe he was just touching in around, what, 19, 20, 21, 22. But as he was getting older, Miss Pickett was getting older as well. 46, 47, 48, 49 ish. I've, I just, like I say, I don't understand people. I don't understand how it is that she is off the hook for her goddamn love affair with a baby. He's a baby. It's excusable because he was um, tormented. He was getting destroyed by the drugs and the lifestyle that he was living. That makes it excusable, huh? Yeah. Well, if you ask me, somebody needs to show up with Miss Jada Pickett Smith and clack, clack them metal things on her wrists as well. I don't condone it. I don't. I get it. We all wants to try a little bit of some young something every now and then to see if we're capable of how Stella got her groove back. We wants to see if maybe we can get I grew back. I get it. But the problem that I have with it is when you talked about somebody else that was kind of doing the same shit that you did. Maybe Mr. R. Kelly was going through some things too, Jada, and felt the need that he wanted to try him a legal age um, female. But it's okay for you, huh? It's total BS. And I don't care how y'all try to sugarcoat it out there. And oh, she, you know. Yes, telling the truth about the situation will make a person look good. It does. I get it. But does it justify? Does it give merits to the moral part of it? Of what was right? You, Jada Pickett Smith, really did R. Kelly wrong. But you turn the mirror to the flip side, what you're doing is okay. Somebody better make it make sense because it does not make sense to me. I, it does not make sense. She brought all the reasons out here to tell you people of why she did this. Her and Will relationship was on the Rocky Mountain. But they had made the vow to never, ever leave each other. We going to have us an open lifetime partnership what is that some new shit to put out here for it to be conditioned on other people this is the new trend this is what we gonna do you gonna have you an open relationship with your husband or ex-husband because you vowed to not separate but at the same time it's okay to go out there and get you an old youngin to make you feel good Y'all make that shit make sense to me. Google. <laughs> I'm getting messed with it, my cars. So, I just had to bring that little piece out there. I would love to see Miss Pickett do a round table. You know, put Robert Sylvester Kelly on that round table with the Azrael and put her on that table also with um Og because that's what she calls him Og um at the age he was when you decided to rock the boat of, on that little boy now you got him out here bringing up some old dirty 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 
dirty stuff, right? Because he's still in his feelings. Now, mind y'all, Mr. August Alcina had another woman. I can't see why if you done got another, you know, you have another woman. There's a possibility he might be in another relationship and just ain't telling nobody or whatever. You know, how you still in your feelings about this thing going woman. I don't get it. And go and look at the, the this boy sits here and tells you that I got Will's um blessings. I don't even know a man out there who wants to go dip and dab off in some juices of a woman and need permission from another man to go do it. They gonna go do it whether if you give them permission or not, Mr. Og. <laughs> But everybody is, oh, you know, Jada told a story. Oh, oh, Jada told her God darn story, you know. Oh, do I have any sympathy or empathy for Miss Jada Pickett Smith? No. You know why? Because she took life and also took advantage of it. And I get it that we all are not perfect. not perfect in no kind of way and we do things that we probably shouldn't do knowing that we're going to get some backlash for it or whatever the problem is when that backlash come or every justification in the world comes out for it. shout out to will smith though you know taking it like an old trooper over there so that the backlash and and things don't come too hard on their situation you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you what I believe is facts about Will. See, it didn't really upset him that much. No, I take that back. It upset him. He had to hide it deeply in his heart. But I'm going to tell you to me and what makes a man not really act such a fool. You know, um, not just because he is as well as, you know, a legend in his own career you know he's good at what he's doing the movies um he's good in the singing i absolutely love summer summertime i love that freaking song i play it today but sometimes what covers up a man from doing all the bang bang you know i'm upset and the cursing and everything to a woman once they find out things like that and this is allegedly yeah that means that he is probably dipping and dabbing on off to the side as well i'm just saying usually that's how it's called if he, you know he wasn't too all bothered by it because they have this open relationship but what hasn't come out and what will probably come out y'all it's gonna come out you know jada know will smith then already then laid up allegedly with somebody she knows it you know because what really caused her and him, which has not been put on the table, really, to break up in a manner to where they are okay of having this lifetime open relationship. What caused them to be in that position? What caused them to not all, you know, all of a sudden now that we're hearing that, you know, they had their problems and their ups and downs? What is on the table? What is the deep secret that they have? Because they got one of why they are in an open relationship for life instead of a wonderful, fantastic marriage. We know there is no such thing as a wonderful, fantastic marriage. But what caused them to not talk about their marriage but an open relationship for a lifetime? What made Jada wants to have the desire to sleep? with this young boy and I can tell you this if she slept with one it's a possibility she gonna sleep with another one ain't no difference from when a man hit you if he hit you one it's a possibility he gonna hit your ass again down the road so you people sit out there and wants to make it make her justification okay you people sit out there and, and say well it's okay Jada and this is the woman that slept with a younger guy twice her age she was twice his age twice his fucking age and it's okay we get to say 
Oh, but this is the woman that sat there and said that she has heard and all the evidence that um, is going to be used to help crucify, lynch mob, Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Try to understand it, but if you ask me, Mr. Jada needs to be picked up as well possibly allegedly on some sexual assault thing yes she do let's question her let's put her out there and let her see how it feels for people not agreeing with her moral her more that's her immoral i'm sorry her immoral actions see because where i'm from if you let one get by the trend will keep going it's going to keep going. I get it. The boy was probably 18, 19 years old. But we talking about doubling her age. That's immoral. Don't that look nasty to y'all? Ain't something upsetting y'all about that situation? Or is everybody out there mesmerized? Because it's Og. It's Og. And he sings, the boy ain't worth the four million dollars. Four million dollars. Jada got damn it over there playing chess. See, she got an open relationship for lifetime that's worth five hundred million. If I was a woman, why would I let that go too? I'm gonna have my cake and my ice cream too. She doesn't know where um, that boy career was gonna go. Will he be able to continue to take care of me and give me the lifestyle that I choose to have and that I have been able to have when I was married to Will Smith? Will she be able to do that? Probably not. However, I get it. She's making a little rodo of her own. I get it. But y'all want to sit out there like we as women and not act like how that we don't know how this game shit goes. Give me a break. I'm sorry. I'm ending this video because I'm a little bit disturbed about everything that I see out there. That it's okay, Jada, because she justified it and told her facts on why she felt intertwined with that young boy. Which is immoral to me, but it is what it is to others. Make up y'all mind. Which way is it going to be? Which, what, which and when do we stop the trend of crucifying some but letting others off the hook? Letting others off the hook. Because this boy has some you know, health problems and he was going through some things. And Will and I was going through some things. So I felt vulnerable and I fell into his laps. I thought that she was going to like mentally help him. You know what I mean? Not God darn it, Vajaja help him. You already know what the Vajaja does with a person that's going through things takes that pain away from them puts their mindset in a whole different other goddamn la la land because if you didn't gave him some yes you have led him on to believe that you like him the boy fell in love possibly she fell in love because it was probably more than one or two or three or four or five six seven eight nine ten times remind that Jack stay on one wing of the goddamn match, and Will stays on another wing of the goddamn match. Sneaking that boy in, then gave him a whole goddamn room and everything. One thing I can tell you for sure, though, she sure ain't no player player. Jada, you ain't no player player, girl, because I wouldn't, if it was me, I, I wouldn't have got caught, girl. You don't know how to play your cards right. Everything's gonna be all right. You don't know how to play your cards. Can't leave it all up to you, baby. Jada got bust, child. That's just simple as that. The August Alcindor got in his feelings. Mmm. Mr. Will Smith needed to justify with as well so that. Not too much ridicule and embarrassment would come down and get to crashing on, on his thing. But allegedly, and this is just my opinion only, just my opinion. Will Smith got some goddamn skeletons in the closet himself, y'all. Oh, yeah. And when it comes out, don't y'all sit back there like y'all going to be all surprised. Like y'all don't see a little bit of sugar wooger going on in his tank over there. Don't even act like you don't. 
don't act like you don't. But don't keep sitting there trying to see what's going on with the world. Yeah, it's weird, weird ass people with a whole bunch of money that gets to screw it up and put this trend out here like it's okay. And then the next set of, of a, a, a generation follows it and the next generation follows it. We'll never be right. We're going to always be some screwed up world what works for some works for some and what works and what don't works for some just don't work for some but we all can see and be blind by it if you want to but it's money it's money those with money can make it and those with money can't make it it depends on who the people are that's ready to crash down and crumble your world ain't that right jada with that red table talk you did some damage. You put that image out there about Mr. R. Kelly. You said that you had that the, all the evidence that you needed to have based on a docuseries movie. You never once gave Mr. R. Kelly a chance, just like those judges and everybody's doing to him, not giving him a chance. But now the shoe is on the other foot. And that's just my freaking opinion. Now, I'd be more welcome to come to your Red Table Talk to tell you how you're wrong right now. How you wrong? You bias. You bias. You took you took that boy, and that boy took you, and y'all used a relationship to benefit and work in y'all favor. Now it's coming all back down. The heat is, and now you wants to red table talk justify. Take that shit on over there to the church and close the door and talk to the priest where that shit should have been kept on the low low, and nobody had to know. No, that was just it. Makes people just irritate. We get all this freaking money and just got to talk, 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 talk. I was the I, I was laughing at her, and I'm gonna keep the shit real. I had to laugh at her ass. You got caught. He got caught. I gave him permission. I felt so bad for him. Nothing different from you. I you you know you reminded me of. That darn, uh, what's her name? Played in Monster Ball. Played in Monster Ball. What was her? What was she? Uh, what was she saying? Um, Holly Berry. Um, make me feel good. That's what she told. Um, um, oh boy. And he was. He's like one of my favorite actors too. In the in the uh, in the Santa movie. Make me feel good. Girl, only thing you done did out here was to show a whole bunch of other old goats and everything. Like me and myself myself and a whole bunch of other women out here that's rocking that late 40s and 50s and everything. That go get you a young man because he could make you feel good. <laughs> it is what it is. And there you have it. My opinion on justifying Jada of God darn allegedly sleeping with a God darn 20 year old at the time. And feels like it was okay. Nothing's being said. We ain't chopping off her head. At 40-ish, 50 years old. Because she had to make herself feel good. From the shit that she was going through. With her open relation lifetime ship. Open relation. Lifetime ship. With uh, Will Smith. That's the only thing that you did. And everybody's. Oh yeah. She gonna tell it all. She gonna tell it all. Come out with a book if you want to. I'm gonna buy it just to burn it. Everybody get tired of these sad ass stories. I got to go. Don't forget y'all. That's just my opinion. On the uh, viral talk of the justifying Jada. Um, um, seducing. An alleged young adult, 20 at the time, four years ago, five years ago, or whatever. So she don't have to live with the bullshit that's coming at her. It is what it is. Get on over there and subscribe to that One Pap channel. Don't forget to subscribe to that one. Come on back over here and subscribe to the One Papoose channel. Because it's going to go back up and start popping here soon. Wouldn't want y'all to miss 
the things that I have to say. Don't forget, I will see you guys out there at 9 o'clock at 111 South Michigan Avenue. Come on out. Have a great march with us. Don't forget, we may have some distractions coming towards us. I am asking everybody that is attending this march to avoid all distractions. We can't stop people from talking. You can't stop people from yelling in a different way. You have to let those people be. The attention must remain on what we are coming downtown for. That's downtown Chicago. Don't forget, you can go online and get your prepaid parking um, ticket to get in and out of the South Park Grant underground. However, if you leave up out of there, you will have to pay again for that day. It is not an in and out um, parking lot. Once you park, that's considered one day. Okay, so don't confuse that. Um, don't forget to pick up your t-shirts uh, from um, Mr. Dubowski. He should have those ready to go by 10 o'clock. You guys should have them on and ready to go. Check into your hotel rooms. Do whatever. Go get you some water. Go pee. Have whatever it is. Because at 12 o'clock, we will commence. We will have prayer over our march. And we shall be on our way to go do our job of what we are um, intending to go and do. We're going to do a good job at that. And, and that's all that we can do. We can't do much more but keep supporting Robert Sylvester Kelly. That's all we can do. Whether if there's, um, we welcome uh, people that are um, chooses to join with us. But we only welcome them if they're coming with a good heart. Coming with the intentions to um, protest with us, you know. But keep in mind, we're going to have some that's not going to be on our side. And as adults down there, we have to be mindful. You got to let them talk. That's the way they feel. But we can be louder and keep and go do what we do and move and keep it moving. I'll see you guys for that Saturday. I'll see you guys for that Sunday on those March 12 to 6. Be there. Don't be square. I will talk to you guys later. You can hit me on my email. You guys know what that is. It's already out there. Have a blessed and beautiful day.